Our Meg Terrell tonight on the race for a treatment. Well, as case numbers climb around the world, so too does the urgency for a treatment that works against the novel coronavirus. Vaccines, which are designed to prevent infection, will take time, even moving at the fastest pace in history. So when you've heard me say we would not have a vaccine that would even be ready to start to deploy for a year to a year and a half, that is the time frame. Now, anyone who thinks they're going to go more quickly than that, I believe will be cutting corners that would be detrimental. Medicines could move faster because the nearest term potential solutions are existing drugs. Gilead's remdesivir is an experimental antiviral drug in multiple clinical trials now in China, the U.S., and elsewhere around the world, with the first results expected in a few weeks. There's also a generic drug used to treat malaria called chloroquine that's currently in trials as well. The results aren't yet in. Raymond James points out that prescriptions of that drug spiked in late February, suggesting it may be getting used or at least stockpiled already. Analyst Stephen Seedhouse noting the drug's been used for more than 70 years with a good safety track record. He says it costs pennies a dose to produce and it's given as a pill. So he bets it could have the biggest impact in the coming months. But that's if it's proven to work. Other companies are racing to develop new drugs as well. Regeneron, for example, aims to have hundreds of thousands of doses of a new medicine to test by late summer. Scott, back over to you. All right, that's our Meg Terrell tonight. Thanks so much for that. For more on how long it might take to get drugs and vaccines to the people who need them, let's bring in Umar Rafet. He is the senior managing director at Evercore ISI covering biotech and pharma. He joins us on the phone this evening. Umar, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So there's all this talk, as Meg was saying, about this Gilead drug. Is that the most promising one out there at this point? Yes. If you go by all the preclinical and early human anecdotes that are out there, this drug might have by far uh, the highest potency we've seen. Um, the question that remains to be answered in the ongoing trials, which we may get data for in April and possibly even slightly earlier than that, the question that remains to be answered is, What's the time point after infection when you need to take that drug? That's the question that remains unanswered. The other, Once we question, know, that, the other it, question, frankly, that needs to, to be answered is how long until we can actually see this drug be put to use in people? I think that can happen relatively fast. And I say that because once we have these early results in April um, and additional results in May timeframe, um, there's a lot of manufacturing scale up happening right now. It's not a complex molecule. We could have a fair amount of supplies starting to come online by the summer. Interesting. What other companies are working on drugs that we may hear about in the very near future? I think an additional one I'll point you to is um, a malaria drug, which is already on the market called chloroquine. Um, you see a lot of supply of this drug in emerging markets, less so in U.S. because you don't have a lot of malaria in U.S. Uh, chloroquine appears in preclinical models to be very active. There's a trial ongoing. So that's, again, for treatment purposes. Now, separately, if you switch over to... Um, so again, these are drugs that kill the virus. But what happens is phase one is when the virus is going up, so you kill the virus. Phase two of the disease is when inflammation kicks in. So there's a lot of anti-inflammatory drugs that are getting approved, and there's plenty of them out there. But again, they're only on the inflammation phase. If you get removed from people that have already gotten the infection, think about prevention. Um, you may look at Moderna, which is a biotech company, which has a trial ongoing now with an mRNA vaccine, custom-made for COVID-19, which is that trial ongoing now, and we could get data possibly this summer. 